Hey occasional gamers, this is Leo. Welcome back to Dishonored. We're back on our way to the Hounds Pits Pub. Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. Oh, the maid's there. Check to see if we saved him. The heck? My uncle's been killed, hasn't he? I know he never came back from the meeting with High Overseer Campbell. I don't know why I expected anything else. What? He was just unconscious. I tried very hard not to kill him. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all of them. Oh. Yes. Sailors tell tales of monsters far out to sea. But I'll tell you, there's strange things in this river no one talks about. Lights in the water, late at night. I've seen faces too. Hmm. A second solution. It is through no fault of my own that the Aversit and Sin has expressed. Oh, okay, I know we've read that up before. All right. Can I be of service to you? Time to restock on some sleep darts. Oh, mask optics too. my oh shit moments upgrades crossbow accuracy mask optics another level of magnification like I never really use the optics that much Do I have enough bone charm? I think if I do want anything, it'd probably be this crossbow reload. Just because I'm using leap darts more often than not. Oh, sorry lady, I thought I saved him, but... I put him to sleep yes, and I guess he died. I'm aware of that. My brothers control the voting block. Okay. You did it. Somehow you took down the high overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes. And why's he got to shoot? Business. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. All right. Do. Quick exploring. Uh, 
Okay, I can't get up there. There's nothing really back here, right? Where's this oil? oil. Oh. There's some money hanging about. I don't need to crouch. Abandoned apartment key needed. properly back in the pub. my father served in the field under general alfred pendleton where he took the wound the sometimes i wonder if the plague is just going I to hope go I will on do no and less on and on okay. until then they will ever talk over each ever. other think of that heal up A lost bit of money. Just finish exploring everything. I'm still a little bit salty that, it, like, putting him to sleep counts as him as him dying. I feel like that was a little bit unfair. Because he wasn't actually dead. Alright, I guess. Time to go to sleep and. Stop here. Time to go to sleep and meet the outsider, I'm guessing. Sleep time. The Overseer's undone. Martin is on his way to join the Loyalists. Campbell's fate has thrown uh, the Overseer's into disarray. Decoding the High Overseer's journal may reveal any number of strategic secrets, most notably the location of the rightful heir to the throne, Emily Caldwin. Oh, okay, there's no no outsider this time. You're lucky I keep you on. It is every citizen's duty it's a nice to report pub. treasonous speech and action. These beds seem quite a bit of use, the I can tell you. The state depends on you. I'm going the absolutely worst way. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Sewer hatch. <clears throat> One of those. Uh, 
I'll make sure I pick up all my money. What's the button again for zoom? Alt. There's the gate. I assume I need to go through. Here. Okay, I don't have that. Uh, decisions. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go back this way. See what we do here. Oh, this just opens it up here. What was attacking me? Oh, the freaking fish. I guess that gives it another access over here. So I heard it. Green. me as well. Well, yeah, I don't want to kill these guys because aren't they friends? Yeah. probably get some more skills too. An ancient note. I'm sorry but I won't be here for the next meeting or ever again for that matter. What happened here was unnatural and makes me sick to recall. I left the result of our labors here for you to keep but I expect that the rats will consume it before you return. Bye. Yes that was the ruin. Money. I wish it wasn't so murky. All right. Um. Let's see what we can do. Got lots of ruins. Turn to ash when they die. I wonder if that works against um, if they get not silenced. If they go unconscious, that's the word I'm looking for. All right. Do I keep the blink and dark vision or do I try other other abilities? Blink would be nice. Animal targets.
Ooh. I'm kind of curious how possession works. It controls animal targets. Let's give it a go. All right, possession. Press left click to physically merge with any animal's body for a limited time. You can end possession by pressing left click again. If your host were to die, you would endure the same fate. Small animals can't survive the possession process. Level 2, you can possess people while inside another human body. You are too clumsy to do anything but basic actions like opening doors or carrying objects. You can't attack from the sounds of it. Alright, I kind of want one more rune so I can get level 2 blink. But. Alright, nothing's here. Okay. Oh, interesting. I just noticed if I blink. Do I automatically... Uh, go into crouch? Okay, you went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. Probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Oh. Okay, there they are. Corvo. I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey, you've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Going to the Golden Cat. I know the Golden Cat, not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints, if anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry, I only thought... Never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. Corvo, my friend, do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? I don't think you had some information, but... I don't think... You're going to tell me. Alright, so I could... You know what? Let's do it. New ruin. I'm gonna get level level two blink. And blink a longer distance. Right. Get back up to oh I'm almost max health. Corvo, a moment if I may. Mr. Lord Pendleton. Corvo. I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. 
They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. All right. I think I'm done here. Let's see if we can do this the non-lethal way again, but... Uh, I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Okay, let's go. But yeah, hopefully we can do this non-lethally.